Picture this. You're navigating a boat in uncharted waters and the tide is rising relentlessly. But this isn't an adventure movie. It's a very real financial challenge, one that millions face every day. It's called inflation, and it's like an invisible thief stealing the value of your hard-earned money. As prices surge, your dollars lose strength, leaving you to watch helplessly as your purchasing power dwindles. But fear not, for we hold the map to financial security in these turbulent waters. Today we're revealing five dividend stocks that stand as mighty anchors against the tide of inflation, keeping your wealth not just intact, but steadily growing. Today we're going to show you and John five of the best dividend stocks that'll beat inflation. These stocks belong to an elite club of dividend aristocrats, companies that have consistently increased their dividends for decades and have been making people rich for a long time. Before we reveal our under-the-radar bonus stock, let's kick things off with our first pick, which happens to be one of the most consistent performers. We'll then proceed in ascending order of dividend yields, unveiling each stock's potential to help you beat inflation and secure your financial future. John had saved diligently for his retirement, but as the years went by, he noticed that his money just wasn't stretching as far as it used to. Prices were rising and his savings seemed to be losing value. John knew he needed a strategy to beat this financial foe. So let's start with our fifth pick and go from good to absolute best. And remember, at the end, there's a surprise bonus stock waiting for you. Number five, Medtronic. Known by the ticker symbol MDT, our first dividend stock to buy and hold forever is Medtronic, a prominent player in the healthcare sector. Medtronic offers an above average dividend yield of 2.3%, significantly higher than the S&P 500 average of 1.4%. We'll start with an investment of $10,000. While the dividend yield may seem modest, remember that Medtronic's status as a dividend aristocrat implies steady growth. Over the past five years, its dividends have grown at a compound annual growth rate CAGR, of 7.9%, a testament to its reliability. As you continue to hold this investment, your income keeps growing. After five years, your initial $10,000 investment has transformed into $13,439. Your annual dividend income is now $251.16. This increase in income is your shield against the rising tide of inflation. While prices go up, your income does too, maintaining your purchasing power and even increasing it. Medtronic boasts a remarkable track record as a dividend aristocrat, which means it has consistently increased its dividend payouts for over 44 years. To put this in perspective, it's like seeing your salary rise every year for 44 consecutive years. What's impressive about this company is its diverse range of medical products, spanning from insulin pumps to surgical tools, cardiac devices, and more. In a world where healthcare is a fundamental need, Medtronic's products remain in constant demand. Next on our list is Procter & Gamble, known by the ticker symbol PG, a consumer staple sector giant. Procter & Gamble holds the prestigious title of a dividend king, having raised dividends for over 50 consecutive years. The key to its resilience lies in its products, which are household staples like Gillette and Pampers. These products continue to sell regardless of economic conditions, making Procter & Gamble a recession-proof investment. With a dividend yield of 2.3%, Procter & Gamble surpasses the S&P 500 average. What's particularly remarkable is the company's commitment to increasing dividends during economic downturns, coupled with a solid compound annual growth rate, CAGR, of 7.5% over the past five years. Now, let's put this into perspective. If John decides to invest $10,000 in Procter & Gamble, he is poised for remarkable returns. Initially, that $10,000 investment could generate $230 in annual dividend income, that's equivalent to $19 per month. And remember, Procter & Gamble doesn't just offer a reliable dividend, it provides an opportunity for steady growth. Like we mentioned earlier, over the past five years, its dividends have grown at a compound annual growth rate of 7.5%. 
So if John continues to hold this investment, his income keeps growing. In five years, his annual dividend income might reach approximately $300, and his total investment might grow to around $13,000. Moving into the industrial sector, we now encounter Caterpillar, known by the ticker symbol CAT. This company has consistently increased its dividends for 29 years, making it a reliable choice. While Caterpillar is best known for its construction equipment, its business actually extends well beyond that. The company's sales are driven by commercial, government, and retail construction markets, as well as investments in mining, commodities, energy, and railroad networks. Notably, Caterpillar is at the forefront of autonomous technology, with over 500 autonomous trucks operating worldwide. This commitment to innovation positions Caterpillar as a forward-thinking company in the industrial sector. Caterpillar's dividend yield, which is the annual dividend payment as a percentage of its stock price, is relatively moderate at 1.5%. This means that for every $100 invested in Caterpillar, you can expect to receive $1.50 in annual dividend income. While the dividend yield may not seem exceptionally high, what makes Caterpillar an attractive investment is its growth potential. In other words, even though Caterpillar's dividend yield is not very high, the real allure of this stock is the possibility of its stock price increasing substantially over time. This potential for capital appreciation, combined with the reliable dividend, can result in a total return on your investment that falls between 18 and 20%. It's like having your cake, the dividends, and eating it too. Potential stock price growth. Now, let's take a step back in history to understand the devastating impact of hyperinflation on an entire nation. One of the most infamous cases occurred in Germany during the Weimar Republic era in the early 1920s. At that time, Germany experienced hyperinflation, which stands as one of the most extreme instances in history. Prices of everyday goods and services soared to astronomical levels. To illustrate this dramatic shift, in 1914, a loaf of bread in Germany cost around 15 Pfennig, which was 0.15 German marks. By 1923, during the height of hyperinflation, that same loaf of bread could cost billions or trillions of marks. People's life savings and fixed incomes became practically worthless, and they had to carry wheelbarrows full of money just to buy basic necessities. This period of hyperinflation had devastating economic and social consequences in Germany, contributing to political instability, paving the way for the rise of extremist political movements. It serves as a stark historical example of the destructive power of hyperinflation on individuals and society as a whole. Okay, back to our list. We now turn our attention to the real estate sector and find Realty Income Corporation, known by the ticker symbol O, a real estate investment trust and a member of the dividend aristocrats. Realty income stands out because it pays monthly dividends, making it an attractive option for those seeking reliable passive income. In April 2020, before COVID, the company celebrated its 622nd consecutive month of dividend increases, a remarkable feat. So let's delve into the numbers to understand the potential gains for someone like John who invested $10,000 in realty income a decade ago. Realty Income offers an alluring dividend yield slightly exceeding 4%, a highly favorable figure for income-focused investors. To put this into more technical financial context, it's important to note that this yield significantly outperforms the typical returns you might expect from an investment in the S&P 500 index fund. The S&P 500 has historically averaged around 2-2.5%. Two to two and a half percent. So, Realty Income's elevated yield transformed it into an appealing prospect. If John had invested $10,000 in Realty Income 10 years ago, not only would he have received reliable monthly dividends, but he would have also witnessed substantial growth in his investment. Over the past decade, assuming the stock's historical performance, his initial $10,000 could have grown to around twenty dollars to $25,000, including both dividend income and capital appreciation. Realty Income's primary strategy involves developing single-tenant properties and leasing them out under long-term agreements. 
with tenants responsible for most of the operating costs. While it primarily serves the retail industry, recent acquisitions, such as the sale leaseback purchase of the Encore Boston Harbor Resort, hint at a strategic shift to enhance shareholder value. As mentioned earlier, realty income presents an alluring dividend yield slightly exceeding 4%. It's important to again note that this yield surpasses the typical returns you might expect from an investment in the S&P 500 index fund a benchmark widely used to gauge overall market performance, usually around 2 to 2.5%. Realty income's elevated yield makes it an appealing prospect, particularly for astute investors seeking to construct a dependable stream of passive income. Moreover, it positions you for the potential to outperform broader market averages, which can be a pivotal aspect of a well-balanced investment portfolio. Okay, before moving on to our bonus stock, here's number one on our list, Automatic Data Processing. Known by the ticker symbol ADP, Automatic Data Processing is an information technology sector company. ADP is a leading provider of essential business services, including payroll and human resources management. With a client base of over 700,000 corporations, ADP generates nearly $16 billion in annual revenue. Let's calculate how much John would have made if he invested in ADP 10 years ago based on the provided dividend growth rates. We'll use the average annual dividend growth rates for different time periods. Over the past 36 months, 10.81%. 60 months, 13.71%. And the past 120 months, 10.91%. Total dividend income over 10 years, approximately $3,320.45. So John could have easily made a profit close to 34% and beat inflation if he invested in ADP 10 years ago. One of the most compelling aspects of ADP is its record of raising dividends for 47 consecutive years, placing it among the dividend aristocrats. It's only three years away from potentially joining the esteemed ranks of the Dividend Kings, companies with at least five decades of dividend growth. ADP maintains a consistent payout ratio, offering investors a dividend yield of approximately 2%. This stability, combined with its impressive dividend growth history, positions ADP as a stock worth holding onto for the long term. And what if you decide to embark on a 10-year investment journey with ADP? Well, your initial investment could potentially transform into a substantial nest egg. Assuming you invested $10,000 in ADP and maintained a long-term perspective, your investment could appreciate significantly. Your dividend income, initially around $200, could grow over the years, providing you with not just income, but also capital appreciation. Now let's move on to the bonus stock that was promised in the beginning. Cummins, with the ticker symbol CMI, operates in the industrial sector and has been consistently increasing its dividends for 29 years. This means it has a proven track record of returning value to its shareholders, even during challenging economic times. One area where Cummins has been particularly impressive is in its resources segment. Sales here saw a remarkable 30% year-over-year increase. This isn't just about construction equipment, it's about a company that's deeply ingrained in global infrastructure development. Cummins has more than 500 autonomous trucks operating worldwide. And this isn't a new venture. Cummins has been investing in autonomous technology since the 1990s. This speaks volumes about their commitment to innovation and staying at the forefront of their industry. With a dividend yield of 1.5% and assuming a relatively conservative price-to-earnings ratio of 15, Cummins has the potential to provide investors with an annualized rate of return of approximately 7%. This is especially impressive considering the high quality of the company and its prudent management of debt. But what is conservative price-to-earnings? Price-to-earnings ratio, or P.E. ratio, is a financial metric that tells you how much investors are willing to pay for each dollar a company earns in profit. It's like asking, if this company made $1 in profit, how much would you pay for a piece of that profit? 
In a nutshell, a conservative P.E. ratio suggests that investors are taking a more careful approach and are not willing to pay a premium price for a company's earnings. While Cummins may not boast a flashy dividend yield, it offers a compelling mix of solid fundamentals, growth potential, and the promise of excellent returns. In an inflationary environment, Cummins can provide stability and growth in your portfolio, making it a stock worth considering for the long term. In investments, remember, it's not just about today's yield, but the promise it holds for tomorrow, and Cummins embodies that promise. Whether you're an investor or a trader, it's crucial to recognize that wealth accumulation through dividend stocks offers both a hedge against inflation and the potential for steady growth, underscoring the significance of time in long-term financial success. If you want to dig deeper into the dividend world and become a more educated and stable investor, click here and watch our video where we teach investing for beginners.